Starting tomorrow, Vigo County will officially become an orange county on Indiana's COVID-19 metrics map. Counties colored orange means that the county has a seven-day positivity rate between 10 and 14.9 percent. According to the Vigo County Health Department, last week 219 positive cases of COVID were confirmed. As of August 5th, 41 people, including a 16-year-old, were hospitalized due to the virus. Zeke Torres joins us on what this change means for you. Zeke. Sadie Mike, the Vigo County Health Department will be ramping up efforts in contact tracing. Now, one COVID-19 hotspot was detected that's at the Terre Haute Humane Society, but speaking with local health officials, they fear those numbers may rise. For the first time in a long time, Vigo County will move out of a yellow or blue advisory level. It's very disheartening. Elevating to an orange county means we're seeing more local COVID-19 cases. Vigo County Health Department educator Ronnie Elder says the number of people not vaccinated is one contributing factor. I think the increase is definitely because we've stopped wearing masks. Every place has posted, if you're vaccinated, you don't have to wear a mask. Unfortunately, that's just a call for everybody to take the mask off. We're not seeing a whole lot of unvaccinated people still wearing masks. Elder says Vigo County is averaging 40 to 50 new COVID-19 cases per day. From July 5th to August 5th, hospitalizations increased by 413%. That data does not lie. It is what it is. Hospitalizations are up. Cases are up. Not a good place to be for our county. Though health officials anticipate numbers to increase, no new mitigations like a mask mandate will be enforced. But Elder is encouraging residents to be mindful. Well, I hope I see in our numbers that people realize that COVID-19 is still here. It's still spreading in our community. Now, for Vigo County to go back to a yellow advisory level, that means having a positivity rate between 5% and 9.9%. Sadie.